guys, how's it going? Thank you so much for being here. This is the Connected Conduit. I'm going to do a message for you, collective message. Let's see what's going on around you right now. Who are you connecting to? How do they feel about you? What's the situation? What's going on? I'm getting the song, I Want to Run to You. And I've been, <laughs> I got that last, I don't know, like a few days ago. I want to run to you. See? <laughs> Triumph. They want to come charging in, charging towards you. They want to take decisive action towards you. They're suffering in silence, missing you. Okay, who are you connecting to? Whoa! Okay, the Triumph card flipped over. The Chariot. You could be at a distance from this person. It could be a Cancer. Um, or you could be a Cancer. You're connecting to somebody who's very determined on having a victory with you. They are really focused on you. Like their attention is 100% on you and this connection. And all they're thinking about is getting to you. I want to run to you. Trapped in fear. So maybe this person is feeling stuck right now, but they want to run to you. There's the awareness, the magician card. So, okay, I'm picking up on somebody who's feeling stuck in their head. There's some fear here. They're suffering in silence. We've got the nine of swords. Overthinking, stressing out, overanalyzing, having nightmares, not being able to sleep. They know who you are. They're aware of who you are and what this connection means to them. The thing is, it's like they're feeling stuck, but they know that they have everything within them to pursue you, to be victorious, but they have to take action. So let's see. They want to run to you. They're feeling stuck, but it's like they know that they're fully capable of doing this. So it's um like a five of wands energy, like push and pull. They're really struggling. Emotional loss. We have the five of cups coming in. I was picking up on the number five because the number five is a number of conflict, change. So they're missing you here. They're really missing you. They're going through a difficult time emotionally. They're healing from heartache. They're spending some time alone. We have solitude coming out. They're learning. Learning about themselves. They're learning about their soul. About spirituality. Memories of love. See, they know who you are. That came out underneath the magician. Underneath awareness. Memories of love is the six of cups. Which is past life soulmate energy. Reconciliation. Thinking about the past. So they are aware of who you are. They're aware of the fact that you guys are past life soulmates, that you've had many lifetimes together. It's freaking them out <laughs> a little bit. Okay, why are they feeling, why are they feeling stuck? Why are they feeling stuck? Why are they up in their head? Two of cups, spiritual union. It's this connection. This connection has them up in their head. They're overthinking this connection, you guys. We have the lovers. Six, harmony. The lovers coming out. Okay, they, they know that you guys are twin flames or soulmates. Sorry, the cards just fell out on the floor. We have the throat chakra coming up here. Um... They're afraid of speaking up, of letting you know how they truly feel, of letting you know what's really in their heart. They've been having massive awakenings, okay? Realizations. Crown chakra. Ooh, I'm getting massive ringing in my right ear. 
that's the masculine side. Their crown chakra is opening up, they're receiving messages and downloads. They're having to process this information. So there's just fear. There's fear around the intensity of this connection. Maybe they're not sure how to handle what they're feeling or what actions to take next. But in their heart of hearts, in their true desires, they want to run to you because they're missing you. And they regret a lot of things that's happened between the two of you. They're also nervous and afraid that they are going to end up regretting not coming to you. Like if they stay trapped in fear and stuck, they know they will regret it. Transformation. Scorpio energy, the death card, change. Okay, this person is going through massive change in their life and they're suffering. It's causing a lot of distress for them mentally and emotionally. Okay, what is this person going to do? What are their next moves towards you? Okay, what do they want to do? What are they going to do here? 17, hope, the star energy. They want to heal this connection. They want to come forward and be vulnerable to tell you about what's going on, to open up and express their love to, for you. See, we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck confirming that. They want to open up their heart chakra. Do you see this green glow by this guy's heart? They, okay, he, this person, male or female, it doesn't matter. They want to connect with you. They want to hold your hand, look into your eyes and open up to you. They want to be vulnerable. The star energy. I'm hearing truth be told. Truth be told. Movement choices and decisions. Okay, this person has made massive decisions in their life. What decision has have they made? What is this decision? Two of Wands. Balance. This is justice. This card has been coming out a lot in the readings. Justice can symbolize legalities like signing divorce papers. It can symbolize it, karmic um, karmic cycles, getting getting your karma, your good karma, right? Things coming back into balance, balancing the scales, doing right by somebody, standing in your truth and your integrity, right? Truth be told. That's what the justice symbolizes is truth. So I feel like they want to balance things out with you by telling you the truth. And the truth requires them to be vulnerable, open and honest. And they're freaking out. They're afraid to speak up. This is intense. They're remembering. They are remembering the past lives that you've had together. And if that's not the case, they're just remembering things that happened between you in the past. And maybe you guys didn't have such a great, I don't know, maybe there are some memories that are not great. And they're afraid of confronting those. I, I don't know. But whatever the case is, is they are, they're missing you and they're wanting to run to you. They're trapped in fear. They're worried how you're going to to receive them or if you're going to receive them um they're going through a lot right now they're trying to stay grounded i'm hearing a practical approach <laughs> they're trying to keep their head on their shoulders their feet on the ground and take it one step at a time but truth be told is they love you they want to bring healing to this connection and they're ready to be open honest and vulnerable the lovers came out as i said they love you they're ready to tell you that they've made a choice from the heart they love you new beginnings they want a new beginning with you a new cycle a fresh start this has been coming out a lot um, I've been receiving the world card, which is the last card in the deck, and then the fool card right after. So it goes the world and then the fool. 
And of course, the world card is the last card and the fool is the very first card in the deck. So again, like massive cycles completing and then a whole new fresh start, a new chapter. And they want it with you. They want their new beginning with you. They want to rebuild with you. Your person has gone through tower moments. See? Temptation, the devil. They want to leave behind these toxic relationships that were stifling their fire, putting out their fire, putting out their creativity. Many of them were involved with like codependent relationships, codependent partners, or your person could have been struggling with addictions, fear, whatever the situation, whatever the case, your person has overcome a lot, but this is like the last hurdle that they need to overcome. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have power, a number eight, which is the strength card coming out. I just said that they are overcoming obstacles. They are overcoming things in their life, overcoming toxic ways, overcoming karma. Okay, and then the courage card comes out. Courage, strength, inner power to overcome. They're going to do it. This person is determined. They are. They're determined to have their wishes fulfilled. Nine of Cups. See? They're making major decisions in their life. Choose wisely. They know that the next choice they make is, is very important. They need to make the right choice. But man, are they set on you. Yep, base chakra. So this is like them rebuilding from the ground up. Um, many of the collective that I've been tapping into have um, had to work on their base chakra, work on trust, confidence, feeling safe, secure, rebuilding that foundation it's, it has to do with the roots, with your roots, so your home life. And we have heartache and loss. So recovering from just really disappointing, heartbreaking situations, breakup, separation, divorce, learning to trust again, trust in themselves, trust in their own inner power, trust in the universe, trust you, okay? Because I feel like, although you guys are in separation, because I, I do feel that, I feel like this is somebody that you're not speaking to right now. You're in separation. And they're basically going through these massive changes in their life. And you have no idea. Well, they haven't told you. Intuitively, I feel like you know. But they haven't told you. So it's like they're they're doing all this on, like on their end, making massive changes in their life, okay? Tower moments, rebuilding. And while they're doing this, they're having to hang on to hope and have trust and faith that you're not going to go anywhere, that you're going to wait for them. Although you have free will, do whatever you want. But they're hoping and praying that when they come out of this, you are going to be there for them on the other side. They're hoping that you guys can have a new beginning together in love. They're hoping that you will choose them because they have chosen you. Truth. I was just going to say truth be told. Because I was looking at that balance card again and I heard truth be told, truth be told. And then the truth card came out. I'm telling you, this person has a massive truth to tell you. See, there's the love card on the bottom. Love begins, ace of cups. They love you. They want a new fresh start in love with you. 
Will you have me? Oh my gosh, I split the deck on passion ignited. They want a new passionate beginning with you. They desire you very much. It's passion and it's love. And it's ignited something within them that they can't put out. So where they've been has been very cold. They've been with a cold person who's withheld their love. Your person is very fiery. They want to create. They're full of fire and warmth. And the person that they're with or the situation that they've been involved in has been cold. And it's been stifling them. It's been snuffing out their flame. But with you, you ignite the flame within. You help their fire grow, okay? <laughs> yes, there are connotations in there. I understand that. But <laughs> um, seriously, though, you you add value to their life. You inspire them. You get their the flame going, okay? You excite them. There's passion, desire, drive, all of the things. There's happiness, love, tenderness. It's all here. Truth be told, I love you. I want to be with you. I want this brand new beginning. I want a new beginning in love and passion with you. I'm hearing like, tell me something good. And now I'm also getting, let's give them something to talk about. A little mystery to figure out. So maybe you guys are different. Or maybe when you guys come together, you're going to stir up some trouble. Like you're going to push the boundaries. You're going to challenge society's beliefs. You know, maybe you're like really different. Okay. I don't know. Temptation. This person is... <laughs> They're obsessed with you. They desire you, okay? Ace of Wands and Temptation. They do, but it goes much deeper than that. Look, we have Fertility, the Empress energy coming out. For many of you, they want to get you pregnant. They want a baby with you. If you're not of the childbearing age or you just don't want to have a baby, that's okay. You have free will. They just want to birth the new with you they want a new life with you heartache and loss this separation's hard for them you guys and they really want to move past it with positive movement forward they're ready to sail to calmer waters okay sacrifice the hangman they see things differently they have a new perspective they're tired of being in this limbo phase and they want movement they want movement forward okay i really feel like they're coming in but they've got some emotional stuff to heal all i can say is get ready for truth be told this may actually surprise you when this comes in. Truth be told. Truth be told. There's the sun energy coming out. A big reveal. Something coming to light. The truth coming to light. Coming out. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You don't have to be. There's the lover's card. They made a choice from the heart. This king of pentacles, male or female, they have their, their sights set on you. You're the empress. Okay. Truth be told, they've left something behind. They want to pursue you with the knight of cups energy here. Whoa. Jeez. The moon and the six of wands fell out of the deck. So... Something that's been hidden, the moon card, is coming to light, is coming out. They want victory, success with you. Truth be told. Five of Pentacles, I miss you.
Queen of Swords. See, look at this. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. She keeps coming out, male or female, it doesn't matter. This energy keeps coming out. Where they've been has been cold. They feel locked out. Locked out of happiness, locked out of love. I don't know. It's like, oh, okay, that's what it is. This Queen of Swords, male or female, has been withholding love and affection. Leaving your person feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, suffering, isolated, unhappy. So not only are they missing you, but where they are is, is like um, a wasteland, I just heard. A wasteland. See, Eight of Swords. It's a place where they feel stuck, trapped, unhappy. The Queen of Swords can be very cutting, mean, harsh with her words. But I keep getting this repeating message, you guys, that this person that they've been dealing with was withholding their love, withholding their affection. Very cold, icy, putting out your person's fire. I stopped shuffling and there's the Knight of Wands. There's the fire. This is your person. They're fun. They're brave. They're bold. They're fiery. They like to go for things in life. They're ambitious. And this person is just like, no, we're not doing that. Psh, I'm going to put out your flame. Psh. <laughs> I'm going to control this situation. Okay, this person that they've been dealing with has been very controlling. Okay, truth be told. Truth be told, they've been dealing with somebody not so nice. Okay, the Knight of Wands came out. And we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom. Like I was saying, this person keeps putting out their fire for life. Because now I'm hearing, I gotta last for life. I gotta last for life. Your person wants to live life. And you've ignited that passion within them. They feel alive again. And it's thanks to you. Okay, so this is what they're going to tell you. This is what they're going to tell you. See, the star, you're a dream come true, a wish fulfillment. You're healing. They're hanging on to hope. They're hanging on to you. They're hanging on to the idea of you guys, to the dream, I should say. They're hanging on to the dream of being with you, of having this new beginning, starting over in life and love. This is what they're coming to tell you. Because where they've been has been horrible. They've chosen you, the lovers. It's you. Seven of Swords. Where they've been, they've been learning a lot of very difficult karmic lessons. King of Swords. They've been having to set boundaries and detach from people. It's been like a standoff. Look at these two. Very cold. See the six, six of pentacles behind that. Withholding of love. I'm getting like unequal give and take. Somebody who's breadcrumbing. Withholding. Not giving, you know, as much as they can in an attempt to control and manipulate. And it's been very burdensome. Exhausting. A draining situation. That's been depleting your person and they're leaving it. They're done. Look, this person's packed their bag and they're moving out. You're going to hear about this, Eight of Wands. You're going to hear, look, behind that is the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to hear that they're single. They've made themselves single and they're coming in. They want to they wanna move this along, the chariot. They want to come see you. Okay, there's the Knight of Swords. I have something to tell you. Okay, this is a message coming in. And when it comes in, it's going to be a wish fulfillment for you. Okay, I feel like you're also hoping for this. And if you're not, that's fine. Okay, you all have free will. I'm just reading the energy. Um, yeah, so this person is like, I hope you're going to be there on the other side. When I get to you, I hope you're still there. Will you have me? Because I love you. I love you, the lovers. I want 10 of cups with you. I've, I've made my choice. I feel you even though we're apart, the high priestess. I feel that we're connected. I hear you. We're sending telepathic messages back and forth. Two of cups. 
I know you're a soulmate to me. Ten of Pentacles. I want everything with you. A legacy, a life. Okay? Very passionate about you. You guys, like, feed each other, okay? You bring life, love, and vi vitality to one another. It's a very healing connection. I just heard soulmates in separation. Okay. So you guys are soulmates in separation right now. And they're preparing to come towards you with a truth. Truth be told, you guys. Things that were hidden are coming to the surface. I feel like they put up a front. They they were pretending to be happy in their life because we saw the seven of swords. They were hiding the fact that they were miserable in their life. They pretended that they were happy. I, you know, I keep getting this message that they were keeping up with the, with the Joneses. They like, it was very fake. It was a facade. They put on a show but then behind closed doors, it was very dysfunctional, very toxic. They were very unhappy, okay? It was a front, a facade. It's fake. So truth be told, you're going to be finding out about that as well. I know I said I was really happy, but actually I was miserable. So eight of wands, this is going to pick up pace. Knight of cups, this person wants to tell you how they feel about you, okay? Nine of Swords, they're stressed. They've been going through a difficult tower moment. Um, they're also worried that you have moved on, but they're trying to keep the faith that you'll still be there for them on the other side, okay? So they're, they're still going through, a, you know, some stuff. They are clearing the way, clearing the path for you guys to be together. They're sending you a lot of telepathic communication, pulling on your energy. Um, Eight of Cups, they are detaching from certain people, places, and things in their life. As I say that, I split the deck on the Ten of Swords. They are detaching. They are letting go. They are, they are releasing. Um, they're also releasing betrayals that happened to them, okay? So if they were, you know, it could be family members, um, a wife or a husband or someone, you know, a partner that they were connected to that very, that hurt them very deeply. And I keep getting that, that, that queen of swords, male or female, she keeps coming through and it wasn't a good situation. It wasn't a good match. You're the queen of cups. You're exactly what they've been wishing and hoping for. Someone who's loving, kind, nurturing, caring, sympathetic, empathic okay somebody who's deep emotional okay it, yeah two of cups they've been waiting for you now i'm getting that song oh i think it's by scorpions um when you came into my life you turned my whole world around okay Google that song, you guys, or look into that song, Scorpions, When You Came Into My Life. I can't remember the exact lyrics, but I'm hearing the tune. When you came into my life, you took my breath away. Yeah, that's what it is. You took my breath away. Ah. Queen of Swords. Because, yeah. <laughs> Because who they were dealing with was like, ooh, icy, ice queen. Lots of heartache here. This person was mean. They weren't very nice. They caused a lot of disruption and heartache for this person. And when you came into their life, you were the queen of cups. And it's like the opposite of what they were dealing with. And you took their breath away. You were beautiful, genuine, authentic, real loving, open, kind, kind-hearted. The wheel. When you came into my life, you took my breath away. You guys met for a divine reason, divine purpose. It was all part 
of the divine plan, karma. This was a fated meeting between the two of you. The wheel of fortune. When you came into my life, you took my breath away. This person was like not expecting to meet you. They weren't. They, they actually had convinced themselves that they were happy. And then when they met you, they realized the truth. That where they had been or where they, yeah, where they were or who they, whatever. The situation they were in <laughs> was not what they wanted. Mm -hmm. And it's not about like the grass is greener. It's not like that. It's just like they didn't see it. They didn't see the truth. They didn't realize it until they met you. Page of Wands. Yeah. It's like you came into their life and you inspired them. Okay, look, Four of Cups. They were unhappy, dissatisfied, discontent, bored with their life. But they, they, they weren't admitting it to themselves. Okay. So you guys can expect this person to contact you with truth. Okay. The truth of how they really feel about you. They want a new beginning. Truth be told, they love you. They've been doing a lot of healing work on their end and they hope that you will have them. They hope you haven't moved on. They hope you haven't abandoned this connection. I'm hearing, meet me on the other side. Meet me on the other side. So it's like they're hoping that you're going to meet them on the other side of this journey, the other side of this spiritual journey, you guys, because they know who you are. They're aware of who you are. They're coming. Look how determined and focused this guy is on his horse. Male or female, it doesn't matter. They are coming. I'm hearing, ain't nothing stopping us now. We're on the move. Ain't nothing stopping us now. So this person is starting to feel unstoppable. Like they can manifest you. They can do this. They've just got to push past that last little bit of fear. They have to push past a couple more obstacles and get things moving forward. So... I just saw the strength card again. So exactly, they're gathering up the strength and courage to do this. See, obstacles and challenges and positive movement forward. See, they're moving away from obstacles and challenges. They're coming towards you. They're gathering the strength to do this, okay? That is definitely confir confirmed. I almost said conformed. Interesting. I feel like your person's tired of conforming. Conforming to society, conforming to other people's expectations, conforming to, yeah, to other people's expectations in fear of their judgment. Okay, they're done with that. They're discontent, they're bored, they're dissatisfied. They want to be single. Nine of Pentacles. They want to be free. That's what I'm getting. They want to be free. I'm hearing, will you have me? Will you have me? Fertility, the empress. Because you're the empress. Will you have me? Will you accept my sacrifice? I feel like this person has sacrificed many things for you. It could be a relationship, a marriage family connections they could be going against family members and, and friends in order to pursue you because maybe you guys are really different maybe you come from different backgrounds different religions I don't know but um whatever it is I feel like they they're really sacrificing things to be with you will you accept my sacrifice will you be there waiting for me 
on the other side of this journey. See, they're trying to stay optimistic about their love life. They're trying to trust and have faith. See, healing family issues. They're healing. Healing. Will you forgive me? Will you accept my sacrifice? Can you forgive me? I'm hearing. Can you forgive me? Oh, I'm getting emotional. I actually feel like crying. Holy smokes, your person's making me cry. Holy, okay. Heart to heart conversations. Can you forgive me? Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You guys, come on, you can't make it up. Truth be told, truth be told. We had justice and truth come out. Truth is, is the number 20, okay? And that's all, that's judgment. That's the judgment energy. Major life decisions, ascension. No longer wanting to listen to the judgments and opinions of others. Wanting to live life on your own terms. And then having to do the work and, and sacrificing things in order to do that. And I feel like they're going to be coming in and imploring with you. Like, will you forgive me? Can you forgive me? They have something they really, really need to tell you. They have to tell you the truth. The truth of how they're feeling. The truth of, of um, the situation. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Exactly. So you guys could be very different. Very different. Also, if they have like a controlling family or a, con a family that has a lot of expectations, puts a lot of expectations on them in terms of like what type of partner to be with, then they're breaking free from that, from those expectations and those judgments, okay? And um, you might not be, I don't know, like maybe their family or their friends or whatever, or society does not approve of the match, and they're having to like sacrifice certain people, places, and things in order to be with you. Free yourself. Look at this. This is amazing, you guys. They're freeing themselves. Just like I was saying. They're taking back control of their life. They're living life on their own terms. I love it. I love this. This is a very empowering reading. Your person is so brave and so are you. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We did see the five of pentacles. If your person has been going through massive change, okay, especially if they've gotten a divorce, had to split the assets, Okay, then there's going to be loss here. There's going to be emotional loss, physical loss, monetary loss, but it's always temporary. It's always temporary. And whatever is lost will be replaced tenfold as long as the intentions behind your decisions are pure and for, you know, the greatest and highest good, then there you go. Things will be just fine, okay? Let go of control issues. Yeah, allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like they had controlling people in their life, okay? Like that queen of swords. So it could have been someone they were married to or dating or in a long-term connection with. Could be family members, friends, um, a religious group, okay? Who can be, you know, very controlling. And they don't like change, right? And I feel like this is what your person is freeing themselves from. Freeing themselves from people, places, and things that try to control them. They want to be free. They want to have a new beginning with you. We saw that new beginning, the fool energy, and the ace of wands, ace of cups. They want to start over. See, stay optimistic about your love life. They're really trying to stay positive and hopeful. We saw the star card. They're hoping 
and praying that you're going to be there for them on the other side of this journey. Will you be there on the other side? Meet me on the other side is what I heard. Let go of control issues came out. Separation. Oh my gosh. Will you be there for me after the separation period has ended? Are you going to be there for me on the other side? Will we meet again or will you abandon this connection? Okay, this person is scared that you are moving on, that you've let go. But they're not losing faith, okay? It's a fear of theirs, but they're still remaining hopeful and optimistic that at the end of this journey, at the end of this separation, you guys can be together. True love. See, after separation, they're hoping you guys can hold each other, be together, unite. I just heard in holy matrimony, okay? So for some of you, marriage. Not all of you, but for some of you, yes, this person has intentions to marry you and you will accept this is what you want for others of you it's not what you want and that's fine you have free will very attracted to you this is true love this is the romance of a lifetime okay you guys Ooh, intense energy coming through yeah your person made me cry <laughs> I hope you'll forgive me or can you forgive me? Okay, there's definitely something here that needs to be said. Okay, all right, you guys, I am going to leave it here. This is what I have for you. I hope you found this insightful. I hoped it gave you, gave you some clarity. And um, I'm sending you all the good vibes. And please like, share, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, take care. Bye.